Mario players! That's right! Happy Christmas, aka Black Friday! Second post of the day! And for the second post of the day, we're gonna post my favorite deck to play post CRBR. Now I'm gonna show you guys the way I play Malice. <laughs> Where the way I play Malice is not pure Malice, baby. It's the Sky Striker Malice! Which just solves all the problems of Malice combined. Lancia, no problem. I'm gonna steal Yoink. your Lancia and do it on you, loser. Let's go. Before we do though, you guys know what today is. It's Black Friday. So, if you guys want the greatest play that ever existed, there will only be available the weekend. Only 100 in stock. I expect it to be gone by tonight. It's gonna be Smallis versus Ryzeal. God, what a beautiful play map. I really love it. So make sure to go check that out. But get your It's so beautiful. I'm gonna take it with me to YCS Anaheim. So if you guys do want to play it at YCS Anaheim, make sure to include, don't ship, bring it with you. In the order, I will bring a lot, I have a whole luggage of them at YCS Anaheim. So message down below. That way, yeah, you guys don't need paper shipping. Let's go. So with that being said, I wanna get straight to the video. Now it's time, baby. Let's go. This is my creation. I'm gonna show duels of this right now. So don't go anywhere. The deck is very simple. The idea of the deck is if you draw engage, you win the game. If you draw desires, you win the game. If you draw talents, you win the game. If you draw thoughts, you win the game. If you draw sign and mind, you win the game. If you draw lure, you win. You win the game no matter what. The duel starts and you win the game. That's not how you play this deck. Got it? I'm gonna go into the intricacies of the deck and why it's so powerful and why the spells are so broken and how it obliterates every deck. This deck ends with about five cards in deck. You draw like crazy. Every engage in this deck says draw two. Allure says draw two. Desire says draw two. Talon says draw two. Thrust says draw two because it's searching engage 99% of the time. You're drawing two all day. And all of these cards, all these spells at the bottom, these what, 16, break any board. Because Allure is drawing into them, you're just breaking boards. But it doesn't brick because the only cards that are like, that don't get you value or get you to play are the quick play ones. So like Shark Cannon, Widow Anchor, Droplet, Called by like six and the traps is nine are the only defensive cards or engine requirements for the traps that you can't make a board with. If you draw cards like talents and thrust, they're just searching and gauge you're drawing you too, right? So you're able to play deep into boards always, even though you're playing like what feels like 20 defensive cards. And the reason why I'm playing two loves of desire, talents, and thrust is this deck draws more than you can imagine. You're gonna be drawing if you play three desires, you're gonna have three desires many times. You play three times, you can have three talents many times. The goal of this deck is to break boards. So when you're going second, well, you play first if you like, because you're gonna end on an unbreakable board. And the board this deck ends on is different typically, as you're gonna see in some duels here. But you try to end on terahertz and SP. I know that sounds like lackluster. You're setting five every turn. So when you go terahertz, you're, you're gonna send Code of Soul first, or you're gonna send this first and then there comes like code of soul dude the game's over you have a spell trap negate you have a code of soul which is going to later once you've used all your interruptions is going to free up your monster main extra monsters at any time you want to make sure your cycle cards resolve you're going to sp your opponent's card so the only actual card in the field is just neo tempest terror and then when you activate your gw which is the a broke like you go plus five you can think flamberge on your turn is crazy wait till this resolves and you go into uh, the uh, white binder to banish everything, you go plus a billion. I removed Cryptor from the deck because it's I think it's unnecessary, but Cryptor would be the 16th card in the next deck. I'm gonna go into each of the new cards for you guys. Three White Rabbit, three Dormouse, three Cheshire Cat, one Dotscaper, three Miles and Underground. Post side deck, I remove one Rabbit, one Cat, one Mouse. I remove one of each of the post side because I just want to see all spells. You can get into the, the Malice cards very easily as you're drawing going second. So in this deck, you do not need many. The only downside of that is when you do not draw an Alice card, you physically cannot play the game. You're playing a Link Climb deck without anything that climbs. You're just playing Link. <laughs> without climb, without the climb. That's why you still need to max out on this when you're going first. Going second, you're, you have the ability to remove some. Just because you're playing, not only you're playing Silent Mining, but you're playing Allure, you're playing Desires, Talents, Thrust, Engage, just draw two. Silent Mining, a lot of people are cutting this. In this deck, it's different because you're sending a spell card to the graveyard. That is very relevant. <laughs> like, droplets at three is the same reason. You only activate one per turn, which is why I want to drop these at two. But you want to see droplet in your hand all the time going second, because you get to send the extra droplet if you drop multiple, and you get to send more spells to grave. 
So the, you just want to put spells in grave immediately, and you kill them. If you guys saw my DB grinder video where I played this, I think I resolved engage three times. I killed, I destroyed him. I broke the entire Ryzeal board with five hand traps. Sorry, get four hand traps, Ryzeal, Hold Thruster, and plug in. Six defensive cards. With Detonator, Field Spell, Dual Drive, I destroyed him. And yeah, that's the deck. I'm going to show you guys some duels now. Duster, three evenly. Now, just like every single trip deck here, if you're playing 30,000 billion board breakers, you need the ability to remove them into game winning traps. Trap Trick, D Barrier, is six auto win cards against uh, Ryzeal. Sign Roll and Trap Trick is six auto win cards against Malice. This is the equivalent of flipping Sanctum and Lancey on them. Same thing. Two Daruma, I just include. It's just so you could have the option if you already have D Barrier or two D Barrier or whatever, to also set the Daruma. And you are playing Desires, which is makes trap trick a little worse so you would like another option into this i'll play around to play an extra trap for the trap trick of, of these but it's not that necessary actually i super quick before we get into some duels link dakota link Garibo, haggard sp haggard sp mandatory dakota and mandatory link Garibo, semi it's important but i think there's a lot of lines going sec where you could actually like it doesn't seem crazy but it is it's a car it's a link one that's in the gate when you're playing malice they have three tra two traps set always going second. So when you just go Lingaribo and just play under Lingaribo, it gives you an extra layer of protection, which I feel I feel is pretty important. As well as just being a generic link one to link into. Dark is so good. This is a link climb deck. They're all dark. Why why are people not playing dark? Cryptor, you will rarely go into. Yeah, if it gets banished, it gets 5k. It requires three monsters to go into. That's so neg. You're getting rid of your whole field. It's, yeah, it's a good card when it's on the field. It's so nag. Three monsters. Sayonara. I'm out of there, bro. It doesn't do anything. I don't care about it. Banish a card in the field. Axis Code pops five cards in the field. <laughs> we'll give a shit. Fuck Cryptor. Card sucks. Don't play it. Uh, I would much rather Link Reba. I'd much rather Dark. Because there's some lines where Dark gives you an extra monster where you otherwise couldn't. In very weird scenarios. It comes up a lot. You take their Malice card and you play really good in the mirror. Splash Mage, another mandatory card. These Link 2s basically put a card in the field always. Red Ransom and White Binder, amazing. Griffin, amazing. Like, seriously. If really try, guy, try out Griffin in this format. SP and Griffin, with SP under the EMZ, is a lock. That the only out is X Ryzeal Ascent Aggregator. That's why I don't like doing SP and Griffin right away. I prefer put up Neo Tempest Terahertz right away. Send Coda Soul. I don't even play Aggregator with myself with Terahertz. Send Coda Soul. Send Terahertz. Oh, sorry, send uh, the negate. Spell negate. Uh, disable him. Then after you use all the negates, at the very end when they're like already use Aggregator, you send Coda Soul. They they auto lose. That uh, make Griffin with it. Auto lose. Auto, like insta win. This is my favorite layered interrupt, Code of Soul. Um, yeah, Firewall. Typically with Firewall, sometimes I leave it for Code of Soul. Sometimes I go into it immediately to draw, to add two for my grave, and then go into my favorite Terahertz SP play. Uh, Kagari, Azalea. Azalea has been amazing, because a lot of times when you open one of these three, you're able to, Azale like without engage, you're able to Azalea out of nowhere, and then Kagari it back. And Azalea's effect comes up a lot. You always have four plus spells in grave. Azalea is a very good card if you're playing Kagari. And Terahertz and this. So let's get some duels. Let's go. Special reminder to get your Malice playmat. Where's Ryzo playmat? Well, you can, baby. It's a beautiful mat. I really like it. I really do. All right. I'm going to show you guys two different replays. One where I clap. Oh, my God. This one. Who do you guys think wins? Bro, he has full Fire King board with Snake Eye, uh, this card, all sorts of shit, bro. He's going to have... Impulse is some other shit he draws into, I think. Bro, crazy layered thing. A lot of people think breakers are very good until you face a deck like, like this. Until you face a Fire King deck. That has all the interruptions layered, you know? Where it's like, it's not just six negates in the field, but it's like three negates in the graveyard coming when you don't expect it. Two hand traps, Kieran in hand when you don't expect it. Five negates in the field, like ten interruptions. Bro, I cooked this for breakfast. After I ate it, I spit it back out and ate it again because I'm cool like that, bro. It was amazing. Look at this. Broken. Like, this replay will show you how good this is going second. So, clearly we have a great hand. That's the thing. Every hand looks like this. If it's not a lore, it's engage. 
Is that fair to say, guys? You hear me out. You guys just saw the deck profile. Every hand looks like this because we don't play three desires, three times, three thrusts. We play two of everything. So there's no doubles, there's no useless cards. This allure could be engaged, it'll be the same thing. This allure could be desires, it'll be even better. Thrust, you know, it'll be the same thing. All of it. Let's go. Let's continue. See what I did there? Take notes. Take notes immediately. Take notes. What I did here, bluffing the trap. Your opponent doesn't know. They're going to be scared to uh, Baylor things. What do I draw into? I'm not surprised. I'm expecting to draw into it. I'm expecting it. Bro, this is what my deck does. What does the mailman do? I don't know because apparently Canada Post is not strike, but typically they deliver mail if that exists. What does a YouTuber do? They post once every six months. Now, twice a day because I'm cool. Bro, Triff Gaming draws engage. It's really that simple. Cheshire Cat Resolve, send Dormos. He's scared to negate it, bro. He knows what's coming, bro. Draw another game. Ah, oh my God. Bro, bro, I have three spells. This duel's over. Like, he negated that. I'm like, no problem, bro. Link into dark just to, like, be like, bro, bro you got to negate it. Now, that's where I do the coolest shit ever. Now, before I looked, I'm pretty sure I went Widow Anchor takes Sylvia. That's what I should have done. Let me check if I did it. Oh, dumbass. Such a bad play. That right there was very bad. Okay? I'll tell you why. So bad. Like, I, I, my thought process is like, I want to save. At some point, you must act, you must resolve Farmbridge, right? At some point. I could have resolved my engage again. That was very dumb. Here's what I should have done. I should have gone Widow Anchor. Take Flambridge. Chain Sylvia. Or no, he'll chain Flambridge instead. So I, I Widow Anchor take take Flambridge. Chain the special IP. Chain Droplet. Oh fuck. But then I want this engraved because my game plan here. I want him to negate. I could have done many. I could have just activate Widow Anchor and take Sylvia. I activate with my thought process. I'm, I want to negate this without Droplet, and I could the Droplet could be saved for the other stuff later. But this, I should have just Widow Anchor, negate Sylvia. He'll negate it, and then I go engage, engage, draw seventeen cards, Dark summon back Sylvia. Ha! So that was dumb, but it doesn't matter. Ha! It's all good. Because when you're playing the best deck, you're able to make a mistake like that. With Ryzeal, if you make one mistake, bro, there's not much room for error there. You know, it's a very linear deck. Like, if you make the wrong XYZ once, you just lost half your plays that you do in the turn. <laughs> like, a third of the plays. This, I could do five misplays and still win. Same thing goes for you guys. Like, like look, I have six cards in hand. Where did his thing, where did everything go? I have six cards in a talent. Look, talents, I could have draw two. I could have take his card. I looked at his hand just so I could be sure to win. They're both carrying. Ha! <laughs> bro. Like, that was, a, that was lost for nothing. That talent was lost for nothing. I'm playing with minus one card right now. Doesn't matter. Dark, take Sylvia. That play was nuts. You guys see that? He needs IP to hit the field. He doesn't want me. I could negate with the Sylvia. Forcing him to resolve Flamberge. Then, Hornet Widow. See ya. Then I go Widow to take. Then he goes Kieran to chain. So he can still resolve. And then I just go Droplet to neg. That way this can't come out. Everything still gets destroyed, but IP cannot come out. And then I summon Token and I take Sylvia. Ignore what's about to happen here. I just forgot to put my Token. He's going to have a whole field. It's irrelevant. I'm going to SP the island, so who gives a shit? Uh, I'm going to negate that because I'm going to pop something. I'll take back all the malice stuff that's about to come. I realize at this point, I'm like, yo, I'm missing something. Ha! If I fucking engage my Kagari. Ha! So I'm like, yeah, do you want to do anything here? We went back a bit. I was like, hey, do you want to do anything? We talked a bit. If you want to change plays, like, no, it's perfect for me. Kagari, get engaged. Now, if you look through all this, I allured. I have an allure here. I have so many lines right now. Didn't normal summon. At least I think I didn't normal summon. SP. Get rid of Island. Get your whole board out of there. All of it. Get it all gone. I don't want to see it. Get it all out of there. What do I do next? Engage. I have four cards in hand, bro. I cleared a full shark hand. Five cards in hand. Allure is in my hand, too. Allure is in my hand. I set this as a bluff malice card. I want to continue with the bluff so he doesn't know. 
This is my altar. Even though there's no other attractions left, so who gives a shit? Just princesses left. Everything else is gone. That like, bro, that's a, an insane amount of interrupts. Amblo on field and grave. Let's just count Amblo on field and grave as one combined. It's not that crazy. Kieran two, in grave and hand. I'm counting on his three. Garunix four, uh, Sylvia five, Impulse six, uh, Mascarena seven, Mascarena SP the second effect eight. That's eight interrupts. Princess nine. I have five cards, bro. I'm gonna get even more. Princess chain SP. Get rid of both. Not a single card was popped. Nothing summoned. I think it works like that. Summon? No, no, that normal was dumb, by the way. Oh, I already resolved. No, never mind. It was great. I already resolved Dormouse Vanish Effect. I don't need to draw extra here. So I normal summoned it. And then it's, it's the scoop. I could have done more. World Star got four in it, bro. Too much, too easy. Then I then I go full combo. Then I do full malice combo. I just broke a nine eight to nine interruption board. And after I broke it, this is after I broke it. After I looked into his hand, I have full malice board. Like Nine interruptions myself. After breaking his nine interruptions, I put up nine interruptions. I lost this game, so who cares? So we're going to go to game three now. Let's go! We didn't want to see Trip Gaming, baby. That was a close. I remember game two was pretty close. This one's kind of funny, actually. This game was hilarious. This did not go well for me, but I want you guys to watch how this went. Kagari, he has Ogre, Imper, and Bonfire Town. It's very good hand. Set a bluff, the Ruma Cannon. Cheshire Cat. Cheshire Cat effect. See, this is close. He's like, fuck, I gotta take the risk. I can't let that draw. Alright, that's fine. Still tried it. Now I have normal summon Dormos, Send White Rabbit. Look. Bro. Does this look like I'm losing anytime soon? Look at this. Lizard. By the way, at this point, I would Ogre the Lizard Rose. I know it's very low impact. What else are you gonna Ogre? There's not many good ogres in the deck. I'm left with, like, that's my last banish. And I'll have just the very basic board afterwards. But he's left with no choice. I think he has to just take a chance that I fuck up. Link one, link, uh, chain, chain one, chain two. He has to get lucky that I, like, don't put up an SP or if he could, like, ogre firewall at a time when it hurts. You know? I go SP, banish red ransom to special. I think I'm. I did take back here. <laughs> okay. At this point, that's what happened. All I did was I just put the... Re Make sure to check that play, guys. Listen closely. I want... The reason I put Firewall there... I want Firewall's effect to special Dotscaper... Specifically... To resolve. Firewall says... If a monster is sent to the... Uh, graveyard... If a monster's got points to sent to the graveyard, send it. Link Decoder gets banished... Any of these cats or decoder or whatever needs to be underneath firewall so you go to the grave. That way I could resolve for it to summon Dotscaper and get two monsters on board. Because when Red Ransom gets banished, it banishes Dotscaper to put two monsters on board, right? But right now Red Ransom is banishing me nothing from my deck. Because Dotscaper is in my hand. So you always gotta if you hard draw Dotscaper, you gotta resolve firewall effect is special. So he goes ghost over firewall. I'm like, no problem, bro. SP banish firewall? Is that okay, bro? No problem. And then I'm able to summon SP and Firewall back. Get Firewall's effect again. Pretty cool. And Red Ransom resolves. Special. I decide not to send because I already wasted it. And then I just make Splash Mage. Dotscaper summons itself back again from its own effect. Special another. Uh, use this effect. Banish all that. Set another trap. Banish that. Special this. I have full uh, Jewess combo. Put up five. Send Code of Soul. I doesn't. I, I love Code of Soul so much. I sent it now. I should have sent uh, the other one right away. Literally doesn't matter. I guess droplet like drop phase, but or imperm drop phase or whatever. So I should have sent the other and then later send Code of Soul. But there's something to note. And I have two spells in Grave. Uh, he activated Ghost Ogre. I'm gonna activate Thrust. Set D Barrier because he's playing Rizal. Activate engage to draw instead of Widow Anchor. Draw again. Bro, oh my goodness. I didn't even activate a Malice in Underground. I was saving Malice in Underground in case of extra hand traps. Because then later you can just use an extender on one of the big ones. And bring back Firewall. 
Bonfire, sorry, Rizo. What did he use? Fusion, whatever. I see Flint Bonfire. Bro. It was just crazy. <laughs> Great. Typical FDK. You're right, my friend. Send this. So through Ogre and Imperm. My hand was very average. Through Ogre and Imperm. We have Spell Trap Negate. I'll explain what Kota Soul does soon. SP. Firewall, which is you guys use its effect twice. Because I'm going to put something right there. Widow Anchor is going to resolve if I wanted to. Because I could just Code of Soul everything away. D Barrier, no fusions. The Room of Cannon. <laughs> GWC. Want to know what GWC does now? I'm going to get to what Code of Soul does. So it's six so far. GWC is going to give me four cards in it. It's going to give me the Malice Trap card. And it's going to give me plus everything. Cheshire, I'm going to draw two with Cheshire Cat. I'm going to set a trap. Bro. It's crit. Uh, sorry, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna resolve Cheshire Cat. Sorry, it's not quick effect. I mean, I'm gonna set White Rabbit. I'm gonna get another spell. I'm gonna summon a whole field of monsters, and then I'm going to use Court of Soul at any given moment to get rid of ta uh, Terra Hertz, get rid of anything, uh, any link that might be beside Firewall, and put Griffin right here, right above GWC, and he's gonna be fucked when he has like no cards in hand. That's going to be amazing. Oh my god, I'm excited. He has a really good hand too. Like, talents, Snake Eye, Ash Wanted. That's a broken hand, bro. I'm like, buddy, go for it. My hand is insane. I don't care. So now instantly, I'm like, I have a cool play. I'm going to Firewall SP. Look at this. Firewall SP. I'm going to banish my Firewall. Balance Poplar. Firewall also bounce the Snake Eye, Ash. Poplar and Snake Eye, Ash in hand. And I bounce. I got my Firewall out. That way, when it comes back next turn to my big-ass board... It's effective to be used again. Ha! Both of his cards are now officially gone. Yeah, he has six cards in hand. From four to six. Cool play, Triff. But with the exception of Wanted, like, it doesn't matter. And the se second deception is the board. I'm getting rid of it. So it's irrelevant. Negate the talents. He was Wanted. He has... The only two playable cards he has less left is Black Witch and Snake Eye uh, Original Simple. Bro, like... Now look what Code of Souls is going to do. Daruma. Oh my god, it's going to be insane. Now look at this. Look at this. Ready? Special. Resolve. Summon. Ready? It's going to be crazy very soon. This is like a master class. Chef. Someone DM me after. He's like, Chef's Kiss of Interruptions. That was incredible the way you did the interruptions. Fire King Island, right? Look at this now. Ready? Activate the Ruma Cannon. This is such a beautiful play. Activate the Ruma Cannon. Get rid of my whole field. I don't give a shit. Ready? Deception, let him get rid of anything. I'm just deburying like the, the Hallowed as Amina. It's irrelevant. Ready? Activate Malice and GWC. This is such a cool play. White Binder Resolve. Look at this. Ch I cannot draw with Cheshire Cat. During your main phase, ignore that. This replay was a while ago. Ignore that. I cannot draw Cheshire Cat in his turn. It, during your main phase, that's a total mistake. So ignore Cheshire Cat. I should not draw these two. Ignore that. Set MTP07 with the White Rabbit. Ready? Right away on res. MTP07, Banish Marking Island. It's not done. Special White Binder, draw. His only resolve, pop both of these. What's next? Deception, pop something. Hello, Azamina. D Barrier. I still have Code of Soul. Then, Code of Soul, White Binder, and White Rabbit go into Griffin. So with zero cards, I'm going to still have a Griffin. And like six cards, five cards in hand because I was not, wasn't supposed to draw the engage in the other card. Bro, Widow Anchor. I could also very easily link my whole field to put it up. And I didn't even need Widow Anchor. Could have easily resolved it. Just too many interrupts. 